Welcome to my channel. This is PS. I hope you will learn something from this video. Stay focused. This is the second part of our discussions of compressible fluid flow. In the last video, I explained the simplified processes of compressible flow. If you haven't watched part 1 of this video I suggest you do. We are done with adiabatic frictionless nozzle. Now, we will be solving problems of adiabatic frictional flow. From reservoir, gas undergoes isentropic expansion to stagnation condition. Then, it flows adiabatically to P1. P1 is termed as the discharge with respect to the nozzle. An entrance with respect to the pipe. Then it flows adiabatically to P2, the exit of the pipe. Remember, that the presence of a pipe causes the flow to be frictional. So this process is the adiabatic frictional flow. The conditions of the gas in each section is defined by pressure, temperature, velocity of the gas, and Mach number, others are density and mass velocity. Here are the additional equations for adiabatic frictional flow. Let's proceed to sample problems. You can pause the video to read and understand the problem. Now, this is the LMAX, remember that LMAX is the additional length of pipe required to accelerate the flow to sonic velocity from a Mach number m, at a certain point of the pipe. So, if our point is P1, with a Mach number m1, and P2 is exit, with a Mach number of 1, then our LMAX is from P1 to P2. At point P2, we have Mach number equals to 1, so conditions are critical, denoted by asterisk conditions. Finding P2, using the equation of adiabatic frictional flow, we have 0.7735 atmospheres. And finding T2, we have the equation. But we need first to solve for other variables. So, from the basic equations we have. Remember I presented these basic equations from part 1 of this video. T2 is equals to 334.35 Kelvin.
Solving for L max, we have the equation. Let's define the variables. M is the pipe entrance Mach number, which is equals to 0.1398. DH is the pipe diameter which is equals to 0.0266 meters. And F is the friction factor of the pipe. Solving for friction factor, we have. Solving for Reynolds number. Where viscosity is evaluated at bulk temperature. And using ideal gas equation we have the density. Using the Colebrook formula from Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook, we have F equals 5.6943 times 10 to the negative 3. And substitution of all the variables into the equation of Lmax, we now have Lmax equals to 39.5518 meters. This problem is similar to the previous problem. The properties in the exit conditions are required as well as the LMAX, so we will be doing the same steps of equations. Let's now try to calculate the exit conditions using our equations. Solving for P critical, we have. But P1 is unknown, so we have another equation. Still PO is unknown, so we have the equation for PO. Still, we cannot solve PO because we cannot calculate density O. There is no given stagnation condition. So, what we will do is to assume that the reservoir conditions are the same as the entrance conditions P1. And now using our equations, we can solve for pressure, temperature, density, velocity and mass velocity.
And that's it for adiabatic frictional flow. Follow me on third part of this video for convergent divergent nozzle.